So and there was a case with a dog who tested weak positive for coronavirus. Now, the thing that you should know about being weak positive is that it's that person came into con I'm sorry, that dog came into contact with the person that owned it who had coronavirus. And there was no evidence to support that the dog like was actively shedding the disease. Okay. It was probably something where the dog licked the person, had some in his saliva after licking the person and wasn't actively sick with the disease. So that's something to keep in mind. Okay. That's weak positive. Let's go ahead and watch this news story. See what a Pennsylvania vet has to say about it. I think they said they're in Harrisburg. Yeah. So this is a vet from Harrisburg. And we had a little bit of sunshine out there, but now we are seeing those rain and snow showers continuing. Even some reports of grapple, which is actually soft hail. It looks like hail, this but if you pick it up and you squeeze it, it'll melt in your hand, yeah, unlike hail, weather, where it's really hard. Weather, and it can be to a weather, of size. Okay, so there is small, no video. And this is there's, be the just, there's just a weather video. This is not what I wanted. Okay, <laughs> let's read the news here. After the news of a dog in China tested weak positive for the coronavirus, remember what weak positive means, okay? People have been on edge about their pets catching the virus and spreading it to other people and animals. The Pennsylvania Veterinary Medical Association said, however, that there are, is no real need to worry. Right now, there is no scientific evidence that the COVID-19 virus can cause illness in your pets or serve as a mechanism of transmission to other people, said Brian Langlois. I'm doing my best here with these last names. Medical director of the Pet Pantry of Lancaster. The Pet Pantry, but it's a medical, okay, interesting. And immediate past president of PVMA, quote unquote, they have been able to isolate it in testing one dog in Hong Kong, but that does not really mean anything at this time other than that they looked for it and they found it. Hence, weak positive. There is no evidence it has caused any infection in any dog, cat, or horse at this time. There is also no evidence supporting that it can be spread from these animals to humans. It appears they tested for more out of scientific curiosity than concern for possible spread. Many times doctors and scientists find things they do not expect when testing both humans and animals, but they have no clinical significance. Again, one dog out of how many cases with people? Molly? Molly. I'm gonna have to, hey, come here. Listen, you're putting holes in that. I'm gonna have to keep you here with me. You guys wanna see Molly? You is crazy, Molly. Hi. Hey, 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 oh, 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 let's not do that. Okay. Okay. Great. Great. Now everybody wants to come up. I know. All right. <laughs> Here's Molly. She's putting a hole in my dog bed just by scratching it. Funny enough, you're here for scratching people. Yeah? Yeah. Is that a coincidence? I think not. I think not. <laughs> Where are we? Uh, boop, 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 boop. If your dog appears sick in any way, uh, take them to the local vet so that they can be treated for any possible infection. But the organization said it's unlikely that the pets are infected with COVID-19. These are still signs of a possible infection, just not the new coronavirus. It is still very important to have your dog or cat seen for these signs to ensure they do not need to receive any treatment for other infections. Valid point. It is true animals can become infected with the COVID virus, but there are different strains of Corona that are unique to these animals. Oh, interesting. I did not know that. In fact, one form of coronavirus in cats can lead to the disease. Feline infectious peritonitis. These are not the same strains of virus as COVID-19, and we want pet owners to understand this. That's smart. PVMA continued by saying that pet owners should keep up to date on new information about the coronavirus and follow standard hygiene practices after playing with pets. Why are the animals crazy today? What are you guys doing over there? Hi. <laughs> I don't know what Titan and Kalos are doing over there. It's their bedtime, so. 
I think they're fighting over a spot. Those looking for more information can read the AVMA's advice here. Okay, that's interesting. Hi. Hi. I love you and all, but that's kind of gross. It's kind of gross, and I love your soft face. It's just so soft. It's just so soft. Thanks. Okay. So, you know, not to panic. Um, you know, this virus has been spreading. It is going to continue to spread. When people are going to actually start, you know, lifting travel bans and, you know, canceling school, when they're going to stop canceling school, I don't know. But it is a thing to keep in mind. 